Okay, it looks like it's live now. Uh, if you can hear me, let me know. Let me know in chat. Hello, Prince Pigone. Hello, Rich Beer. How you doing? I'm going to do a video today on how to delegate from multiple wallets in Daedalus. And I decided to pick the best pool operators in Cardano. They are, they are the members of the uh, guild. And let me make sure that my stream is up. Looks like it's up. Uh, yeah, so let me know in chat. Uh, and so I picked the, the folks that I know who've been working since the early days of the Jormungandr network phase test net they've been and long before that even uh, they've been working on the cardano um cn tools the cn tools that a lot of pools were built on so uh let me show you who those are i know i put them in the uh oh the screen is locked oh thanks elite trance the screen uh locked looked good before okay sorry about that looked good before i had to restart the stream there so let me go ahead and uh put this up uh, I've got the Daedalus wallet up here. I'm going to show you how to stake from multiple wallets. I'll just edit the video afterwards after the stream is done. And so I have six up here. And uh, let me share the screen. My Daedalus wallet. And here we go. Okay. All right. So there's uh, Daedalus wallet. And I have RDLRT. That's Priyank. He's from the, from the Operators Guild building the CN tools, Pega built a Pegasus app, UNDR, that's pal. He built the, he also worked on the CN tools and many different apps and GitHub commits for uh, building this, as well as Marcus and Homer and uh, Mr. Allman from Allnet. And so we, um, I'm going to show you how to delegate uh, multiple wallets. That was the key. So, the, so two big questions I got is how do I pick the best pool? And what I'm doing is I'm picking the pools based on the operators and that they're going to be around for a long time. I'm not looking at the numbers and this is not financial advice. And so I'm, I'm picking it based on how well I know the operators and their performance and uh, how, how well they can operate the pool. So those are also good qualities to look at and that that pool will be around for a while. So if you like to set it and forget it kind of stake, then these would probably be good choices. Uh, they're probably the best choices in my book. As, uh, so you have um, RDLRT that I'll start with here. And so how do you delegate a Daedalus wallet to multiple pools, right? So I'm going to go to the stake pool center here, all right, and watch how this works. So I'm going to search for that wallet, RDLRT, okay, and here it is. Uh, don't worry about the rankings right now. The rankings don't matter that much. Now, i got to give the wallet a moment to respond, and I'm going to hit delegate to this pool. Now, what this will do is it'll pull up the delegation wizard, and you have the wallet selection, stake pool selection, and delegation confirmation, and I hit continue. So I pick the wallet and I made a wallet called RDLRT. Now I put 10,000 and three ADA in it so I can delegate 10,000 ADA because there's a delegation fee of 2.17 ADA. It's a 0.17 ADA transaction cost and a two ADA fee. Then I hit continue and it says search stake pools but RDLRT is already selected here and I hit continue again. And then I enter the password for this uh, you got to put in your spending password and hit confirm. And it takes about 8 to 12 seconds for the transaction to take place. Uh, so you'll see in about, you know, a few seconds here, like I said, 8 to 12 seconds, the delegation will take place and I'll get the little party thing saying, yay, delegation is complete. Um, as long as this wallet is up to date, I do have multiple streaming softwares going on right now. So we'll see how that goes. It should be fine might take a little bit longer as the wallet connects and synchronizes and does all those cool things. And here's your fees, 0 0.17 ADA, and then there's the other two ADA that comes out as well. And there it goes. Okay, wallet delegated. Yay! All right, little party thing here. And I hit close, and it shows that I'm delegated to RDLRT. All right, so the key to this video is how to delegate to multiple pools using Daedalus, especially if you have a lot of really good pool operators. Um, that you would like to delegate to and find out how the different ones perform. Um, let's see here. So I'm going to go back to the pools wallet and go to the next wallet, Pega, here. And I'm going to delegate to this pool. And I didn't have a whole lot, a, a ton of practice. Okay, so I'm going to search. Um, actually, I think I can just stay on this page. So I'm just going to stay on this page for the rest of them. And I can select Pega, delegate to this pool. Continue, select the wallet, and I made a wallet named Pega, and I hit continue. And then uh, I have the stake pool that I want selected, highlighted in green there at the top. Then I enter the password, 
the spending password. And if you have any questions, let me know in chat when I'm done with this video and showing you how to delegate to multiple really good pools, then I will check questions in chat and answer what you can. So if you have any questions about how Dayless is working, what's going on, please let me know. And the status of Uroi, I think Uroi just recently has an update. And there you go, and that pool is delegated. So about a 10 to 12 second transaction time, plus a little bit of time for the wallet to respond. Okay, so I'm going to go to my next one that I had there, and that was Cleo, and that is Marcus. And, you know, these guys are so busy writing code that they don't always have time. Uh, they don't have time to market, so hopefully I can help them out for all the hard work that they've done for Cardano. Um, hopefully I can uh, support them in some way by getting folks to support them as well, right? Uh, by getting this information out so that people can delegate to them. Oops, let me see. What am I doing? I'm putting that in there. Stake pull from the list. Cleo's, it's in gold. Okay, so continue. There we go. All right. Okay. Confirm. Okay, and that will go out. That's my third one. And let's see here. I had... Also, UNDR. Let's see that go out. There you go. Good to go. See that? Now I'm up to four wallets. I have four, well, I've got four wallets delegated here. Three of them are the Master Jedi of uh, Cardano here. I call them the Champions of Cardano, building up these pools. So I got RDLRT, Pega. Cleo, and I'll get pal at UNDR, and his pool comes up here. Here we go, pal, and delegate to this pool. Continue, select wallet, UNDR, and you can see how the different features are if, as, as I go through this. Search stake pools, that one's highlighted in green, continue. I don't have to search it again, it's already selected. And then confirm. And you see how quickly this delegation process takes place. Because what happens is the transaction is, for the delegation is getting broadcasted out to the blockchain. There are pool nodes out there picking up the transaction, passing it from node to node. Uh, it gets accepted by the blockchain or accepted in a block. And then the response comes back. Dayless picks up that the blockchain picked it up. Then the delegation complete and you get the wallet delegated and it shows up here in the list, okay? All right, so what's my next one here? Triple uh, A, that's Homer, A-A-A, and it finds it in the list. Oops, I put an extra A in there. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna delegate to this pool. Continue, and you can see how it works, and I'll continue going through it here. Go down the list. This, so this is how you can delegate to multiple pools. Continue, and it's up here in green, so I don't have to search for the pool and hit continue. And put in the password. Broadcast that transaction. And there are a, f a few people had problems with Daylist. There'll be an update in a couple of days. There'll be a couple uh, in a couple of days. Sometimes the CPU uses a lot of memory. It might get a little bit warm. Um, well, my laptop might get a little bit warm. It's doing fine now. Well, it's doing okay. Middling, middling. All right. And let's see. We got all net coming up next. So I close and go to the next one. And I got to spell correctly. A H L. This is my guy here. And there he is, all net. Okay. High availability infrastructure and a master Jedi of Cardano. I'm going to delegate to that pool. Continue. Select wallet. All net. And you can see in the list, all the, the wallets are already delegated. So I'll just let you know. Don't worry about the colors, right? 
uh, the, that doesn't matter now. What happened is it happens is these colors, uh, based on the ranking, we don't have a full epic yet. So right now it's really random. It's very randomized. It, the blockchain doesn't really know what the pools are. Um, so what will happen is maybe in the next epic, starting tomorrow at about um, 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, you'll see this occur. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on all net. You'll, you'll see the rankings might make more sense or it might take another epic. Okay. Hit continue and it's highlighted up here so I'm good I don't have to search it here and hit continue and we can put a password and it's a little bit deceptive because it says 0 0.17 ADA but the actual charge is 2 ADA and I hit confirm and let that go out all right so I'm almost done here this was going to be a short video very quick live stream so if you have any questions let me know in chat let me see if there's anything now while this last one finishes up then we'll take a look at the multiple delegated wallets in Daedalus uh, let's see uh, Elite Trant says I can make you a mod yes I sure can I'll do that um, Daedalus wallet says no stake pools has minted blocks yet when will the trigger be pulled on that that will be August 13th well no August 6th the pools will make 10% of the blocks. No, 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 no. Correction. Correction. That's the problem with doing a live stream. August 3rd, tomorrow at 5.44 and 51 seconds p.m. at the end of uh, Epic uh, 208, the one that we're on now, the D parameter will go to 0 0.9 there, and that delegation is done. And there we have the six, six wallets delegated in one instance of Daedalus using six separate wallets. Okay. So, yeah, D will equal 0 0.9, which means the pools will make 10% of the blocks and people will start receiving rewards, okay? Uh, then as the D parameter counts down, D equals 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. So at 0 0.8, the pools will make 20%, 0 0.7, the pools will make 30%, and so on as the countdown continues, okay? Uh, let's see, Justin Fujimoto says, if you spend the ADA while they are delegated, is there a notification that prompts saying they will become undelegated. No, I just did that right before the video here. I had the ADA in the Digi2 wallet, then I sent it. So it doesn't become undelegated, it simply lowers the delegation. Okay, it didn't undelegate the wallet. The wallet is still delegated. And I was able to send the ADA to the other wallets. Okay, uh, Lee Trance says, I hope I answered your question well there, so it doesn't get undelegated. Elite Trans says, 2.0 won't let me create a Shelly wallet yet. I manually created a wallet, but it was a 12-word seed one. I thought Shelly had a larger word phrase. It does. It has a 15-word phrase. So to show you what the Elite Trans means, you see these wallets that have a Byron tag on them? See that Byron tag? <clears throat> these are the 12-word seed wallets. So when you restore uh, your data list, wallet into a Shelly 2.0 or higher wallet shown up here 12 word seed phrase using from down here under add wall you're going to use oh, let me see if it there it goes you're going to use the restore 12 word seed then you're going to create a 15 word wallet with this plus sign up here okay using the 15 word seed all right, and I'm going to cancel out of that. So let me just go back over here to these wallets. Okay, yeah, so that's how that works. All right, <clears throat> hopefully answered your question there. So 12 words in here, then you create a 15-word Shelly wallet. And then when you create the 15-word Shelly wallet, it gives you the option to transfer into it. Okay, uh, Justin, okay, Elite Trance, uh, Kaizen Crypto, hi, welcome. Glad to see you here. Okay, uh, Prince Begone, what is a good way to know if a pool is saturated? Well, right now, it's it's really hard to tell what saturation is or means because there's 4.8 billion on the blockchain. So if you want to tell, if you want to, a good way to tell if a pool is saturated is you can go to adapools.org and check there. He's, um, he's running an algorithm on adapools.org to show if a pool is saturated. But I'll give you an example. Like yesterday, the total amount of ADA that was converted from Byron to Shelley was about 3.8 billion. Now it's about 4.7 billion. So a pool that was saturated yesterday is not going to be saturated today, still during the same epoch. Okay. I think the optimal zone is at about between 80 and 95% saturation, where the pool makes plenty of blocks, 
people get plenty of rewards and you don't have the risk of saturation. If you like a long-term pool, the pools I'm showing you here are good ones to pick from. RDLRT, Pega, UNDR, Clio One, AAA, and Allnet. Uh, they are not saturated and they, um, I anticipate they'll be around for a very long time. So you can check on adapools.org, check the saturation, you'll see the color by the ticker. But keep in mind uh, that algorithm is run every so many hours. You can't run it constantly, or it'll, it'll weigh down the web server. Um, but you'll be able to see the saturation there. All right, let me see any other questions. Um, can you explain a different color shading distinguishing the different pools, please, from Irish Crypto Moonshine? Yes, uh, so the different colors, I'll go over here to the pools. And right now the colors don't count. They don't mean anything because this is all completely randomized and it only goes up to 438 even though there's 655 pools. Um, but the color shading is the brightest green are the best pools. Again, currently it doesn't count. So the brightest green are the most desirable pools, not the best pools, the most desirable pools based on many factors, including the amount of pledge and the percent saturation. But it's not showing everything yet. It may show up tomorrow. The wallet will start showing a bar. So right now, what you're going to look for for saturation, and this also answers uh, Irish Crypto. This also answers Prince Begoni's question from earlier. What's a good way to know if the pool is saturated is the bars will show up in Daedalus. There will be a colored bar in here as sa saturation is calculated. So if the bar is green, it is well below saturation. As it gets within some percentage of saturation, it will go yellow. And when it gets uh, saturated, it'll turn orange or red. So that's one way of telling. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let's see. I hope I answered your question. Uh, I think it sounds good. Shelly Wallet has 24 word recovery phrase. Thank you, T Mooney. That's a good correction. Correction there. It's not 15 words. Uh, that was back on the test net or something on the flight wallets. 24. Thank you, T Mooney. 24 words recovery phrase when you build the Shelly wallet. It's more secure. It's more secure. So well done on that. It is 24 words. That is correct. Yeah, I just made six of them. And I, uh, I had to stop at six. My forearm started to hurt because I was writing down 24 words times six. Uh, so you guys know what I mean. It is 24. Uh, sometimes I get stuck on stupid and I said 15. Justin Fujimoto says, are we going for number one? You dang skippy, we're going for number one. We're going in everything, decentralization, utility, use, user experience, the whole genie gig, number one, all across the board. That's what we're doing. We're going for number one. This is already a great wallet. Best wallet I've ever seen. Does it have a few glitches? Sure. Is it still the best wallet I've ever seen? Yes. Uh, Ledger, manager, uh, Ledger Manager is a really good wallet, but uh, it's a different type of wallet. As far as a full node wallet, this is the best full node wallet I've seen. Okay, all right, so hopefully I answered your questions there. Uh, let me bring my screen share down. Oh, we we're gonna, I was going to just review over these wallets, see how they look. So you see I have them delegated here, up here in my delegation list. So in this one instance of Daedalus, I have multiple wallets. Okay, one instance of Daedalus, I have multiple wallets. Each of those wallets are delegated to a different pool. So in order to help me organize it, I name the wallet after the pool. Okay, and then... I selected the pool and delegated to it and it shows up here that way I know which wallet is delegated to which pool and that would help someone rotate the wallets okay all right so I hope this video was helpful and I'm gonna have to go back and clean up the rest of the stream because I saw it made two streams or something it split <laughs> I can't tell while it's still live but uh, I just wanted to let you guys know and I see Eistein there from Ada North Pool thank you Eistein he says, hey, Rick, nice of you to delegate to these unsung heroes in the community. And you're welcome, Eistein. Eistein's got a YouTube channel over there at Ada North Pool if you want to check it out. But I wanted to make sure I got the word out as this stake is coming online. Right now it's at about $4.8 billion. And I anticipate that we'll hit about $10 billion within two epics. $10 billion stake will be online. And then it will kind of slow down. And probably by the end of the month, you might see it approaching 15 billion. And then within a couple of months, it might take two or three months, um, possibly, and we'll get in the range of 20 billion stake online. The people who are staking the earliest, you're going to get the highest, you're going to get good rewards. I can't say the highest rewards, but the earliest stakers, if you stake to a pool that produces blocks, 
you're going to get um, generous rewards based on the number of pools that are producing blocks. So earlier on, it's uh, fewer pools and et cetera, et cetera. So, and then you, what you'll see over long term in, in the future, it will kind of like steady out to a, a more normal number over time. Okay, but yeah, thanks for backing me up there, I see, and I appreciate it. These folks, uh, again, what, quick summary and amount is and that is uh, Clio One, AAA, AHL, RDLRT, UNDR, Pega, uh, Champions of Cardano, hard at work, writing code. They're going to be around for years and years to come, still writing code. So after Gogan comes out and after Voltaire comes out, they're still going to be supporting the pools and pool operators. Um, they, they just will be. That's how they are. They're great guys, great pools to delegate to. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. And you all have a great day. And thanks for watching Digital Fortress. Happy staking. Take care. Bye-bye.